What's up guys, Jay from the Q Report here doing my second unboxing video. Uh, those that you may know me from the Q Report may also know that I did the show with a projector. Uh, ever since I got my first projector, it's kind of never looked back, right? Never wanted to do the whole TV thing again. Loved having a huge screen. My first projector was this Optima HD33, great projector. What I uh, currently use down in my, my man cave, but I recently got this one as well. It is the BenQ, uh, I think it's a, yeah, W1070. Also a very great projector, and uh, was cheaper than my Optima. In fact, I think it's probably better than my Optima. Um, <clears throat> when I first got my first projector, I had this little tiny Acer K11, also another great LED projector, and we do movies outside. And uh, it was really cool because I was able to get these big white sheets of plastic from work. And I was able to stream on there. Um, but the wind kind of tore those apart. Not able to use those anymore. Um, I'd usually duct tape them together and it was just a big mess. Terrible mess. So I finally decided to go ahead and purchase one of these. Go ahead and open this bad boy up. I haven't opened this at all yet, so I'm pretty excited to see what it looks like. Let's see. It seems like they packaged this pretty well. I did get it from Amazon, not from the company that makes it because Amazon is awesome. Everything's cheaper on Amazon. Yay, another box. <laughs> uh, as you can see, it is a projector screen from Elite Screen Shop. Now this thing cost me $208. It's the second biggest one they make. Jesus. There we go. There is, this is a 120 inch diagonal. They do make a 135 inch diagonal, which I would have gladly bought because it was only, what was it, only like $90 more, but they're out of stock. And they said they wouldn't have it in for another one to three months. That's not acceptable because I'm going camping in July and I needed the, the screen from when I'm going camping. All right, so it comes in this nice bag, very nice bag. It looked, the bag looked honestly cheap and flimsy online, but it is nice. It's padded too. It feels padded. Oh yeah, definitely got some protection in here. Not sure if I'll need those. Looks like uh, directions, setup directions, and a cleaning cloth. Didn't say anything about that, so that's nice. That's a nice bonus. This, I assume, is the projection material. Bag. Let's see what's in here. Nice Velcro bag, yep. So in here we got the projection material. It's called Sin White. Then we got a nice little cover that covers the the frame. So this is the this will fold out to a large square frame. And I'll set this up so, so you guys can uh, check it out. We're gonna watch a movie outside tonight. Uh, so this is the frame that the, the projection material will get spread across. And then it's got these nice, there's like hardware, knobs. Uh, then it's got these really nice fold out legs, right? So this, this will pop up into the frame and then these legs fold out and lock in. 
and that way you know it can't tip either way so that's really nice that was definitely a selling point for me something that's quick and easy to set up and take down just in case it rains or anything but it is waterproof you can hose it down yeah so two of those then we also have anchoring ropes just in case it gets windy out there you don't want this thing blowing down on you anyone watching you got kids watching and that is all it comes with that'd be it so we're gonna go ahead and take this thing outside set it up and let you guys see what it looks like all right guys the video feed isn't the best out here but there you have I have the uh, frame all set up on my deck and next I'm going to put the projection screen material on it how it attaches is all along the edge here we have buttons and all along the edge of the the projection material is buttons as well and we'll go ahead and just put that on and we'll have it set up you guys will see it so this is it all set up go speaker down there give the sound There's some anchor wires coming up anchor it to the ground there's the frame and the foldable legs It's hard to get the best quality of what it looks like uh, outside when it's dark and with this camera. But I'll tell you, it looks really, really good. There's some people watching it for scale. Pretty awesome. Definitely thumbs up if you're looking to get one. What's up guys, Jay from The Q Report here, doing my second unboxing video. Uh, those that you may know me from The Q Report may also know that I did the show with a projector. Uh, ever since I got my first projector, it's kind of never looked back, right? Never wanted to do the whole TV thing again. Loved having a huge screen. My first projector was this Optima HD33, great projector. What I uh, currently use down in my, my man cave, but I recently got this one as well. It is the BenQ, uh, I think it's a, yeah, W1070. Also a very great projector and uh, was cheaper than my Optima. 